Hi, this is Elmo. He's an English Bulldog. When he came to live with us in the summer of 2007, he was nine and a half years old. This October, he'll be 13. Technically the top end of an English bully's life. When he came to live with us, he had been uh, given up because of his many issues. At the time, his skin was bright red and his eyes were nearly closed shut because he had severe dry eye. Elmo gets a bath every week, at least one. It's a, basically a three-part journey. Uh, we start with Dawn dishwashing liquid, believe it or not, because that helps to get the greasiness off of his skin. Then I use an herbal shampoo and then a medicated shampoo. We do a final rinse with baking soda and water because the baking soda basically works to re-alkaline the skin. Elmo has had to endure at least two cancer surgeries. He has squamous cell cancer. And unlike lymphoma, which generally will react well or respond well to chemo, squamous cell isn't one of those cancers that, is, uh, that we wanted to really subject him to, to chemo for, especially with his age. Because of the cancers, his immune system isn't just able to fight enough. And we don't want to put him through any more surgeries if we don't have to, because each surgery is harder on his system. Elmo doesn't get around as much as he used to anymore. In fact, there were some kids who used to come and love to help us walk the dogs. And one in particular, Corey, really fell in love with Elmo. I have photographs of him chasing Corey around the front of the car and around the yard. When Elmo was younger, he had such bad ear infections that the doctors, the vets, decided to sew his ears shut. It's an oblation in the sense that they take the top part of the ear canal out. But he knows when it's mealtime, and I have a feeling that's because he can smell that food. He is still one of the sweetest boys. He is very food motivated. Our pack is very tight knit. I will have Kenny laying down on a, on a dog bed in the living room. And the next thing I know, here comes Elmo curled up right next to him as if to say, hey, I'm gonna come and take care of you. And when Kenny's on the couch, Elmo is right by his side on the, on the ground. In our den, we have blankets on our couch. Well, I should say we have blankets on our couch until Elmo decides he wants to lay on them. He has this wonderful tendency of grabbing them. He starts with his paw, and then eventually he gets it to his mouth, and he pulls the blanket off of the couch, and he makes this little nest with these blankets. And the next thing you know, he's laying there, just happy as can be, curled up, napping, and he, and he snores. Even though this little boy is skin and bone, he's not malnourished. He gets a few cups of food a day of some really good food. And the doctors are thinking that he's not able to maintain the weight because of the cancer. We do run blood work every, at least every six months just to make sure that he's staying healthy. Bulldogs are very high maintenance in general and it's always a good idea if you're looking for a new vet, to find a vet that either specializes in bulldogs or is really familiar with the kinds of issues that they have. Even though we may be having some issues right now, he's still generally a happy dog. Elmo makes a great ambassador for senior dogs. He's on the top end of his life. He is a gentle soul. He's caring. He watches out for all the other dogs, and he's just loving life. 